Hey guys, what's going on? Drax here, back with another episode of Hypermind Vanilla. Sitting here alone on the server. <laughs> no, just kidding. Um, I have been making a lot of progress in this little cave, as you guys probably are aware. And I have another step that I want to take. Now, it's going to involve a little more redstone, uh, but it should be a lot lighter than the last couple of episodes. Have to really thank Wooly Creeper uh, for the rail station. I mean, this thing um, is absolutely phenomenal. I'm in love with it. I think it's awesome. It works like a charm, except for when I try to fiddle with it and uh, make something a little different, and then it doesn't want to work. <laughs> so if I just leave it the way it is, everything's fine. But you know, you know how I am. I gotta try and pick stuff apart and make it see you know how it works and whatnot need to fill some more of that in but yes yeah, so I've just kind of been shaping the cave a little bit making a little a uh, little more functional to walk through and everything so I've got you know a couple of grass paths uh, this was gonna be for the project for today but I'm thinking it's not big enough the area that I need is actually 18 long by 4 deep so there's a couple of ways I could use this room. I could just, you know, take it 18 back and like have a little, you know, walkway here. But I was kind of hoping I could keep the front of it along here. And my dog's playing with a squeaky toy, of course. Uh, there's also this wall here, but there's also a little secret something something behind there. So that's not really the best spot. Um, so, yeah, I've just kind of been looking for a spot to stick to this project and... Uh, once I figure that out, we'll be back after I'll dig it out and everything. That way you guys don't have to see any of that. Ooh, this might not be a bad spot. But yeah, that way you guys don't have to see any of it and uh, I'll get cracking. Well, I have a few blocks laid out here. You know what? I actually need to go grab some torches because it's rather dark back there. I decided to go ahead and go with that spot because a lot of the other places that I kind of had picked out weren't really working or I'd run into some other project that I had and it was just not uh, all that good. So I decided to go with that spot. I just made it a lot bigger and it works out fairly well. Um, I just, you know, extended the room down and then I'll put in some, you know, aesthetic stuff and make it look pretty. And yeah, it'll be a nice little functional furnace area back here. So, um, like I said, I had placed uh, a few of the, the just the essential blocks, really. Placed all the furnaces, all the hoppers, so the bottom hoppers pull out, come around, dump into this chest. So if I throw something in there, and yada yada, it's all going to end up down here. Very nice, very nice, yada nice. Yep, that's all of it. Uh, the top two that you see here. This is for uh, what needs to get smelted. This is for fuel. So I can just throw stuff in there and it'll all get shifted down. And I've just, you know, like I said, basically have laid out a few blocks. That's really all I've done. So um, I actually have to start um, laying out some other items here. Now, I might make a couple cuts because I'm not really... Uh, sure on the placement of a lot of things I'm pretty sure that's where those go and then I need I just need something to get up here okay now um, I do have a couple pictures that I've taken this was actually um, it, Wooly Creeper again had helped me out with this uh, little little array that we'll see here and he was a great help he uh, you know pretty much built this thing in a, in a test world and uh, showed it to me so it was really really nice and really simple to build quite honestly oh that's not what I wanted um, put that there and that should take care of that we're also going to put a block above this and a block above this and then we're gonna put a, a repeater on this one and on this one this one's gonna be on four ticks go ahead and put that block in and then we're gonna put a block in front of it and then I believe redstone is going to go all the way down okay I have no idea where those torches went where did they go they're gone forever um, uh, are you in this one 
No? Where did you go? Or they're just gone, aren't they? They're just gone. <laughs> They've got to be in one of these. There they are. 14 torches. <laughs> Alright. Let's place all those back. Oh man, oh man. So place those back, and then I think that's all I had. I don't think I, had, I broke anything else. But yeah, uh, let's place some redstone up here. Like so. Should be fairly simple. Just to that point there. And then, um, if I switch angles here on this picture, we'll get to the other side. So this will be the front side, so I'm actually going to run redstone all down here just like that and then come down here with some redstone get that we'll get a repeater and then we're going to need a comparator this is going to kind of do the same thing it's going to go into a block like so into a torch like so and then we're going to have to put some blocks up here this is to block the signal, that way it doesn't cross. Don't want to cross the streams. Boom. Boom. Okay, very nice. And uh, uh, this repeater down here needs to have a three tick delay, like so. And if I'm looking at everything correctly, I'm pretty sure that's all there is. Um, yeah, there is some other little bits and bobs that I need to put in, but this should be the gist of it. So yeah, let me go grab some fuel, and I'll start filtering that in, and I'll grab some, uh, some smelting stuff, and we'll check it out. Well, here we go. Now I'm coming over here. I've got, uh, I think I've got every furnace filled up with its fuel. Gonna be using oak planks for now. Uh, I think eventually I'll switch over to the use of um, charcoal but there's a, a little addition to this machine that I need to make that I don't really have all the materials for just yet so it's a nice little addition I can just throw on like up over here and it'll be just fine but this thing is really cool I've added these uh, redstone torches or redstone lamps in front and that kinda tells me how full the fuel is for the hoppers so when this gets all the way up the hoppers right behind these furnaces uh, would be full and so this is just kinda showing how full they are they're gonna go all the way down but I ran out of uh, glowstone so I need just a little bit more just about five more redstone lamps and I'll have everything that I need for those but yeah let's give this thing a test I'm gonna go ahead and put some items in there I'm gonna put 12 gold in what I like about this thing is that it's all synchronized and it's all it just goes so once all the items reach their way in, we'll see all but three of the furnaces kick on. So let's just wait and see here. Bump it dum Bump it dum Bump it dum Hello? 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 <laughs> okay, something's broken. Let's see. Yeah, it goes that way. Yada yada. Let's get that back on there. So it should come all the way down to this one. Where did it go? There shouldn't be... There shouldn't be... That's my cat. Is it... Where did it go? Seriously. Like, what has happened here? Hmm. I don't think there's any way for me to check those back hoppers. No, there's not. Let me grab that for a second. So where did all of that stuff go? Like, did I miss it? Is it down... No, it's not down there. Alright, so it comes out through there, through there, through there. Aha! It's all stuck there. 
Why is it all stuck there? Probably because there's a redstone signal on the other side, so I need to move these hoppers back. All right, well, after a quick rearrange of the hoppers, let's go ahead and try this again. Throw those in there. Stand over here. We should see everything work the way it's supposed to, so here's hoping. Ba -ba -da -ba, ba -ba -da -ba -ba. Go! Go now! Go now! How about now? Now. Okay, what happened this time? Why is nothing happening? Why is there 15 torches in that one furnace? Alright, what on earth is going on? Are they stuck somewhere again? Why are they stuck in that one? Okay, so there's a signal. Why is this signal... What has happened here? Let me, um... Let me pull up the pictures real quick just to see. Uh, da -da, instances, Hypermine, Minecraft, screenshots. There. Okay, so when we look off the top, let's see. There's nothing there. Oh, but there should be a block. Um, give me this block. We'll throw die right down. There should be a block here. But what does that do? Looks like there should be a piece of redstone on this block over here. Yeah, just like that. And then there should be another block. Oh, come on. Give me the block. Come on. There should be another block there. And that should have been everything. I, I don't know what could be going wrong. Let's try it again. Let's put these in here. Are they all going to get stuck right here? They are. What is going on? What have I done in this build that it is just not working? Yeah, so we've got the redstone dust there, the redstone torch there that comes up there. That should be on three ticks. Then we have a repeater into a block, into a repeater, into a block. These blocks are all the same. These, that one's into there, there. Huh. Well, smart Drax is smart. Um, <laughs> I, uh, I, you know, I had these these stair blocks here because I thought since I could hold redstone that, you know, I could do that and have a little bit of an aesthetic uh, feature to this. But n I can't. <laughs> because they don't transmit their redstone signal because they're, I guess they're technically a transparent block. They weren't transmitting the redstone signal to here. So that was the difference and that was the problem. So I am actually going to throw all of this into here like so we're gonna see it all cycle and by the time it hits that furnace all of them kick on at once but why does this one not kick on I wonder if there's a small delay in the the ticks but yeah we should see everything go through that might just be like a timing issue or something uh, maybe enough stuff doesn't come out of the hoppers fast enough and there's just a little little gap there. Who knows? But yeah, this thing is really, really cool. I'm going to clean up a little bit, um, do some aesthetic stuff, and show you guys the end product. 
All right, well, we have this thing operational, so um, I don't have everything quite cleaned up. I actually ran out of iron, so I'm going to have to make a trip over to the iron farm uh, and make it look just a little bit nicer. I kind of made this room a little bit bigger. That way, you know, everything was kind of in, in its place. Um, I also need to get some more redstone lamps. But, uh, you know, I'm, I'm rather happy with the way things kind of worked out in this thing uh, I'm actually gonna drop just a ton of sand in and watch everything go to town uh, because it's it's really cool I mean there is a ton of stuff here uh, that we can use I want to come back around here because I noticed for some reason that the fuel was not going in to those so I was wondering if that was the only one that was happening to looks like with a lot of digging that I had going on there were some other items that might have dropped in to the hoppers but it looks like everything is cleared now so it should be a little bit nicer here's hoping right but yeah I might still have a couple kinks to work out with the system uh, but everything else should really be all right. Uh, actually, no, that's under those. These are getting powered by this line. Correct. So that would have to turn off if more came in. Okay. But yeah, everything should be good. We should be pumping out some of the iron that was left over. Uh, there is tons of glass getting made up which is awesome I do say so myself was that yeah there might have been some see I had some items that were named and that might have been you know part of the reason that part of it got screwed up but yep so guys that's gonna be it for today I hope you enjoyed this little setup it's pretty cool uh, I, I think it was pretty neat it's a it's a combination of different designs but it's a fairly simple design as well so Guys, my name is Drax, and I will see you in the next episode. Bye.